Hey guys, so I have Bird Wilty here. Um, uh, he's gonna be teaching me, we're gonna go over the flower sweep and just kind of different entries, um, how to keep yourself in that position and what to do from there. There's the triangle, the arm bar, and obviously sweeping um, to mountain or something. Uh, I don't know how to make intro still after a year of doing this. It was one year officially, about two days ago. Um, so we're at 495 subscribers after one year. Um, and that's just gonna grow exponentially. So thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. And let's get into it. All right. So first, put me in a full guard. Okay. I wanna see your version of the uh, flower sweep first. Okay. And then I'm gonna go through and correct it. Okay. Um, So it's in frame. So it's not, it's not the worst flower sweep. Um, there's a few details you're missing that makes it makes or breaks it. Mm -hmm. Like you probably felt that I could have posted and I could have made your life hell. Right. So your entry, I'll just go through how I do flower sweeps. Mm -hmm. I really want my entry to be so deep that I'm actually going almost up to my shoulder if I pull it. So okay. I'm gonna pinch my knees, extend my legs out to lift my hips. Okay. This is just so I can get really easy access for underneath here. Right. So as I go underneath, my knees are gonna take you and pull you over my head. Okay. This gives me a solid connection to your hips so I can move your actual body. Okay. So as I go underneath, I'm really trying to get this deep enough, mm -hmm. not trying to take it up to my neck, but just so that when you try and bite this down, I am deep enough to counter that. Mm -hmm. So like if you try and sprawl, I can make it really hard for you. But if I'm here and you sprawl, it just nothing I can do. I was just at the reset. Mm -hmm. So on my entries, that's how deep I want to be. If I can start picking up right away, I can get away with a lot more bullshit, <laughs> yeah. like clasping my hands here. Mm -hmm. But just here is good enough. Okay. So right now you have a post, mm -hmm. and I'm not gonna fuck with this. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Right now you're clubbing my head, so I'm gonna just try and get my angle out and use this to push you away. Okay. I'm just gonna stop you from posturing up, but like as you start to, I'm just gonna grab your neck. Mm -hmm. If I can move you from here, that's even better. Now I'm gonna get my hip angle so extreme, I'm almost threatening an arm bar. So, you're posting, I'm here, and I'll just keep trying to keep this stuff. Mm -hmm. And now, the more I can kill this post, mm -hmm. The better. Okay. I'm doing a lot of playing around with the head and neck to get my hips out and trap that in. Come on. So, extended. Now lift your hips up from here. Use that to get way underneath and pull me over the top of you. A lot of times this makes them club your head, mm -hmm. which is a victory for you. Okay. Even if I'm sprawling here, feel how hard that is? Yeah. So it makes it so I can't do that. If I'm trying to pressure you, I'm not trying to posture up. Mm -hmm. So I'm guaranteed to get swept eventually. Okay. Then can I grab here? Yep. Or I mean, does it like do I have to grab here? So the reason why I like to grab there is if I go to posture up, mm -hmm. you can stop me. Okay. Good. And then. So now, go. the more you take this in, mm -hmm. the better. Okay. Yep. Uh, so, what are like the, the details that, because I know you mentioned to me earlier, um, about how to remove this post off the floor. So, it's going to be how you just did it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to move this away to the opposite angle of your post. So if it's out here, I need to take your head that way. Mm -hmm. If it's closer in, I have to take you more up. Okay. And I have to do that using either my forearm and bicep, or literally my hand. Okay. Feel that? Yeah, that was cool. As soon as this hovers, anything that will push it will move it. Okay. So some of the stuff that will happen when I'm getting deep in here is as I'm trapping this, they'll pull it out. Cool. Mm -hmm. I get a free triangle. Right. If I don't want to finish the triangle for some reason, I also have a very easy, I don't know what to call this sweep, but it is fun and it does work. So I'm going to take your front 
body this way while I open up, push you away, pull myself underneath you. I can do that from the flower switch itself, mm -hmm. but from the triangle, I get a little more push from there. Okay. Try it. So here. So like if they pull out for any reason. So while you do that, I actually try and pull this. Okay. You're not committed to grabbing it, but if you can pull it out as you come out, it's better. Okay. So here. So like first, if you lock up your triangle, because this is such a hard angle to finish, I'll push them away this way, okay. and then kick up and over. Hmm. So you Need had to like there. post on your face and pull yourself up. Mm -hmm. I in one motion, without anyone there, I'm going. Okay. Just doing a back of shorter roll while I try to kind of pull this out. This is your pivot point. Okay. So here. You can also do that from here when I'm just posturing up right. too much. Okay. Well, there I'm going to go for hippo triangle, but. <laughs> Better. Okay. I'll work on that. I was fucking. So, what I mean by you can go for it there. So, say I go for a flower sweep. I go for my entry and you just posture up. And I can't stop it. Mm -hmm. So from here is when I'll just push you away. Mm -hmm. Use this to push you here. Okay. I'm gonna pivot off of that, lift my hips up. So I don't want my hand to stay in here, but if it is, my knee, I'm gonna start sitting out. Okay. And I just have to come up from here. Okay. And if I fill that, you don't get points. Okay. You're probably not gonna end up in a pass. And I might end up in the dog fight anyways. Okay. But I just pull it out as I come up. There's a reason why I showed that before the armbar. Mm -hmm. It's because the fail model of the armbar is you posturing up, mm -hmm. which is a go for that move. Okay. So I'm going underneath, pushing up, and I'm swinging over. Mm -hmm. As soon as I take your weight off of this, I can just kick up and over, but you see how I still have this hand? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna have to pinch while I come back. Okay. And that creates some space for you to rip up and out. Oh, okay. So I can just go for there. Right, because I'm gonna posture up to avoid the arm bar, okay. Yeah. I would like it if I just get the arm bar. Right. But sometimes they will be strong. <laughs> so go for the arm bar, and then most of the time, I actually miss the arm bar and I have to do that. Mm -hmm. So that's why I don't go for the arm bar. Okay. So you just kick up over my head there. Mm -hmm. okay. So if you already have the hand down mm -hmm. here and you were able to kick up and over, just armbar. Right. Oh, sorry. But here's where they'll try and rip out is there's space to get their elbow out. Right. So. so how once you actually ripped out, you were just behind my hips. Right. Because your posture was already. Yep. How would you how would you counter? How would you like get out of the flower? The way to counter the flower sweep is just not being guard. <laughs> <laughs> so the second I'm in guard, I'm hard. Okay. I I don't care if I don't have anything, but if you start going underneath me, and I'm trying to keep here. I still just have to cut, get up. Yeah. Um, if you actually do get underneath me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you have to beat the hand. Yeah. Once once you get the once you get this leg, it's over, is it? Uh, for the well, most I mean, part. Like if... most people suck at flower sweeps, so no. Mm -hmm. But here, I'm in trouble. If I start trying to stand up, and you actually keep my head. Like I'm going over. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna try and hunker down and survive. Okay. Hold on that sprawl. You're fighting. You're fighting this hand, right? Yeah, in the sprawl. Okay. I'm trying to use this as a counter pressure. And now I'm trying to get this back in, so they don't try and take me that way. Okay. Let's 
So obviously you want to be good at jumping to your feet anytime you're in guard. That's just a life skill. Okay. I never really like thought to explode the hips either. Because I'd always like, when I watched Gordon Ryan's instruction, he went here, up, and then like methodically well, did this. Why give them this chance? Well, because he just said do that. You, you do need to know how to do that. Right. For when so you don't open you their just... legs. Okay. But if you can just pop their legs open. I'll take that in. Because then you're just, you're just passing. You're already in her stance. Okay. And once you get it. So I use this to pry my face up. So what's going to make this work is getting your head to the other side. Yep. Oh. Now I immediately take your knee back in. So I can't. Oh, so you can't just. It's hard for me to capitalize on that, mm -hmm. but Andrew will. Okay. So if Andrew's able to, other people are. Okay. Hello again. All right, guys. So that was the end of the video. Um, this is just speed running flower sweeps, getting all the details I could as fast as I could. There we go. <laughs>